What's going on everyone, it's Stefan here with All Mega Prince Supply. Welcome back to the channel. We are joined on set once again by the brand new Epson F2270. If you missed our last video, we covered everything you need to know about assembly, getting the machine out of the box and ready for installation, which we'll be covering in today's video. And if you have any questions on the installation process or how we connected this to our computer to get it print ready, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. If you guys are ready to get started, drop a thumbs up on this video. Let's get this bad boy printing. All right, let's go ahead and power on our machine. Next, we're gonna be setting our language, date, and units of measurement. We're gonna go ahead and choose English. We are installing this during summertime. Let's go ahead and set our date. We're gonna choose the month, date, year format in the middle. September 8, 2023, if you're watching this today, press OK. Now we're gonna select our time format. We go off the 12-hour format here. 936, sounds about right. We'll go ahead and add one minute so we're always early. And press OK. Now we're gonna choose our length units. In the United States, we prefer feet and inches over meters. We're also gonna choose our temperature in Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna choose our printer mode. You got this machine to print beautiful full color graphics on all colored garments. So you're gonna to wanna to select the first option which is white ink mode. Both white and color ink will be used for printing. You can change to color ink mode later, but you cannot change to high speed color mode. Press OK. Now it's time to open up our ink covers and we're gonna install our ink labels corresponding with what we see here on screen. Now remember, we chose white ink mode so we could print on all colors of garments. So let's go ahead and align these stickers matching what we see on screen. White, white, maintenance liquid, just like we see here and it's one big sticker. Let's go ahead and load this onto here. Now there is a little groove line to help me get this perfectly straight, which I will align with first, and then bring this nice and easy down the side. Now let's repeat the same steps on this side. This is gonna be our black, yellow, magenta, and cyan. I'm gonna go ahead and load this on the same way. Now that we have our ink base properly labeled and identified, it's time to load them up. Let's start with the maintenance liquid. Now we're going to remove the tray and load this into position just like so, so that it's nice and secure. And then we'll go ahead and load this in. We're gonna repeat the same processes with the white, securing it into its holder. However, on both white cartridges, 25 motions, we're gonna agitate the ink. We're basically making sure that nothing is settling on the bottom of the bag, but we don't wanna to go too violent as to create bubbles inside of the pouch. A nice smooth back and forth rocking motion just like this, and we're gonna perform this for 25 times with both white inks. That should be good. move on to the CMYK. Now for these colored inks, we are still gonna give them just a little bit of agitation. However, for these colors, we're only gonna perform the back and forth motion five times. After we've agitated all of our ink bags, let's go ahead and close up our covers and return to the on-screen menu. With all the bags properly agitated and installed with our ink bay covers closed, we can now hit the complete button on screen. It's letting us know that the white ink mode initialization is beginning. And once you press okay, the printer mode cannot be changed while the initialization is still being performed. Now what's happening now is letting me know that the platen is not in the media loading position. So let's go ahead and press OK and we're going to move the platen out forward to the media loading position. Now 
Now the machine is asking me to make sure that we place the empty waste bottle in position. Since we already performed this during the assembly step, we can go ahead and press OK. Now it's asking us to check the instructions and install the ink charging unit. Once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and press OK. Let's grab that unit. Now it's time to open up our cover and install our ink charging unit. Now by taking a look at the mounting points for the ink charging unit, I'll know exactly how to place this piece in its place. Let's go ahead and swap it out. Now that we've installed our unit, let's go ahead and close the cover. And we're gonna confirm on screen that this has been performed successfully. Initialization will start when we press OK. Let's get started. Now, because it's gonna be a one-time ink charge, it's very important that we do not lose this piece here. The machine will let us know in a few moments when it's time to replace the ink charging unit with the cover that came with the printer. Hold on to this. Estimated completion time for the total ink charge can range from about 30 to 35 minutes. So go ahead and grab some water. Warning disclaimer, it is very important to know that you should not open either the top cover, any of the ink bay covers, or perform any printer operations during the charge. Once the charge is completed, we're gonna go ahead and remove the ink charging unit and replace it with that cover that we're holding on to. After you've successfully replaced the charging unit with the original cover that came with the machine, we can now close our cover. Now while the ink charging can be a one-time process, in the event you ever need to perform this again in the future, it is advised to hold on to this ink charging unit just in case. Let's go ahead and complete on screen here. We're just gonna press OK. Now our printer should be charged full of ink and ready for operation. Let's dive into that software. Now we've gone ahead and successfully assembled and charge the printer all full of ink, we're gonna connect it to the program. So make sure your laptop or desktop computer is connected via USB or ethernet. And we're gonna head over to the Epson website. We're gonna to go to the F2270 page. We're just gonna scroll down here and click on support. And then we're gonna select drivers and downloads. Now the website's gonna recognize your computer's individual operating system and provide the very best options for us to install. So what you wanna to go ahead and download is this drivers and utilities combo package right here. And then under utilities, we're also gonna install the latest version of Garmin Creator 2. Let's go ahead and get those upgraded. Now in your downloads, let's go ahead and launch the combo package here. Now when the prompt appears on screen, we're gonna confirm that we're connected via USB by selecting this option here. We're gonna press okay. Now it's asking us to make sure that the printer is turned on and connected to our computer via the USB cable, and the program will search for the printer and automatically configure our port. After the configuration is complete, let's go ahead and launch the Garmin Creator 2 software, make sure everything initialized properly. Once the software is loaded, we want to look to see here that the COM driver is recognized and there is a printable option up top here. Let's go ahead and throw on our platen. And now our new hybrid direct-to-garment, direct-to-film printer is ready for action. Between operation or actual setup, user-friendliness is what we love about our Epson products and the F2270 here is no exception. Low maintenance direct-to-film printing, high performance direct-to-garment printing, and the new low-cost ink savings, this machine is gonna help so many people. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that red subscribe button for your up-to-minute reports on everything DTG and DTF. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. We know there's gonna be questions on the new Epson F2270, so you can go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. That's pretty much gonna wrap it for this one. My name is Esteban, we're all American Print Supply. We'll see you on the next one.